Hello friends and especially entrepreneurs. I'm happy to see you on our channel Prime Pro Investment. Today we will provide you a lot of helpful information. If you are thinking about opening a company, Northern Cyprus might be your ideal destination. In our office, an experienced lawyer will explain you which companies are existing in Northern Cyprus, which documents you will need, how long it will take and how much it will cost. But before we dive in, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Let's get started! The economy in Northern Cyprus now is booming and it's the best time to open your own company. And today with us our expert, Nevin Ersoy, uh, she is working with us uh, from the beginning. And uh, you have master's degree. Yes. Yeah, and working more than 15 years, mostly in yeah. commercial. Yeah, commercial and convincing last uh, five years, let's say. It's the only focus area that I'm working on. In this episode, uh, we will take you through the step-by-step -step guide uh, how to establish your own company in Northern Cyprus. Uh, so let's begin from uh, this question, uh, what types of the companies exist on Northern Cyprus? Sure. Um, there are many types of companies all over the world, but there are some kind of limitations in our regulations uh, because we are an island and we have to be protective in the business field as well. Uh, the main ones are the limited companies, which mm -hmm. is working inside the country uh, in any kind of field. But there are a couple of limitations for foreigner investors, which I'm going to mention soon. There is also uh, collective limited companies, which are not much preferable because uh, it is focusing on the one field of uh, activity. And it's not that beneficial for the future times if the people are thinking about expanding their business. The other one is international business companies which are uh, acting out of Cyprus. So they're mainly already established companies in foreign countries. That's another case. And we have free zone companies mainly located in free zone, which is Famagusta city of Cyprus. It's the main port city of the Cyprus and that's again the companies which are focusing uh, working outside of the Cyprus but there are uh, of course specifics why do we need to freeze on company or limited local company so these are the types let's say it's four limited with four uh, but mainly uh, what we are facing as lawyers or the investors coming us uh, Limited local companies and free zone companies are the focus of their. And a uh, lawyer always uh, can consult uh, which company is better to open in Northern Cyprus, right? Yeah. Depending on the intention and activity areas of the company, mm -hmm. we are consulting them and step by step we are together till the end, till we start the business. Does individual entrepreneurship exist? It exists in Cyprus, in our regulations, of course, but for, not for the foreigners, unfortunately, because um, it's only limited with Cypriots. It's not beneficial for foreigners because it's the, the, the capacity of the worker is limited. I mean, the income and the taxes are limited, so it's not possible to run a business, bigger business under entrepreneurship, so it's limited with Cypriots. Yeah, and uh, that's why uh, there is a situation when 50-50 uh, must be co-founder a local Cypriot. That's uh, the limited company situation. Um, let's make it more basic. If someone foreigner wants to come and invest into Cyprus under company, they need to have limited company in order to act inside the Cyprus. It can be trade or it can be service, it can be construction, it can be buying and selling, can be anything, but they need to have limited company. Some fields are restricted to be held by foreigners only, so uh, these are the important parts, these are the important points for them to be careful. For example, real estate uh, activities mm -hmm. or buying properties on company's name and resell them or maybe build on them. 
these are restricted areas. So there must be 51 percentage Cypriot director on the company. Uh, for example, construction is completely restricted, but what they can do to establish a company with someone Cypriot by properties, then subcontractors can work on behalf of them and they can cooperate and they can do the construction business, not directly, but with cooperation. Okay, we understand. But uh, can be a local lawyer be a co-founder of the company? It's not directly restricted. Lawyers can have companies, of course, on their names and they can be co-founder, they can be director if it's needed. What we apply, there are some kind of cases that lawyers are holding this 51 percentage and there is specific trust agreement between the shareholders and the real owners of the company. But this is kind of um, indirect relation. It's not forbidden, but uh, it, it, it's their choice if they would like to continue in this way or if they would like to own the company 100% on their selves. So it's negotiable, let's say, it, and it's possible. Okay, it's possible. <laughs> yes, it's possible. <laughs> and uh, about free zone, uh, to understand what is this, uh, can you a little bit explain it? Yeah, free zone, zone companies are uh, completely different than local companies. Uh, it has to be established in free zone area of uh, Cyprus. There must be an address in free zone. Uh, also, there must be at least two people uh, together in order to start up the business. These are beneficial companies for because they are not paying taxes. It's zero tax. And the, the only um, necessity, the, whatever is business is, they cannot market their goods or whatever it is in, in uh, within country. If they want to, then, then they have to follow limited company regulations. Then they will be obliged to pay taxes as limited companies. But if they keep it only with the free zone and the other countries, then it's completely free zone. And it's very rare type of uh, company all over the world. And it's uh, quite beneficial and many people are interested in with free zone companies now. So it's like uh, beneficial, but uh, it's depend on the type of company. It's uh, beneficial if they are not willing to market it in within the country. I mean, if they're only interested in marketing whatever they do with the other countries, then it's completely beneficial. It's, uh, it's okay if they want to work within Cyprus again but they then the taxes will change mm -hmm. that's the situation they will be applied to pay like normal limited companies whatever they do inside the country okay and uh, what uh, the documents are required uh, to open the company yeah uh, it is changeable we can start with the limited companies mm -hmm. which uh, is not uh, limited with the working activity areas if it's going to be established by foreigners only there must be 25000 euros capital minimum 25000 so 25000 euros capital minimum and it must be uh, blocked in the local uh, banks uh, during this establishment process. This is the first thing. And the director is foreigner. If the director is foreigner as well, then they have to block 10% uh, of this capital. Or if capital is more, then they have to block uh, an amount of 10% of the capital. Rather than this, there must be identity specification of the shareholders. And there must be at least two person in the company. Also, there will be needed an address for a company. It can be rented, it can be bought by the investor. So it's not mandatory to buy commercial property? It's not mandatory to buy it, they can rent it. But uh, it must be commercial property which they are going to rent. Of course, we start with the name uh, inquiry with, for the company. The name and the uh, activity area of the company must be related to each other so it cannot be just a name and yeah. limited company it must be the name activity specification and limited company so a name goes like that and we start with inquiry for the names uh, people give us a couple of uh, names they would like to use 
then we investigate for them uh, at the governmental offices. If they approved, then we start to provide all the documents together. Uh, how long need this approval? It approximately goes uh, three weeks to one and a half months, depending on the workload of the company. If they reject it, you have to restart. Yes. Restart, yes. <laughs> Just one more thing. Sorry to interrupt. It, the the criminal records of the investor must be provided from their hometown. That's very important. And at least they must be present in Cyprus at once so they can sign the article of the company. Because we have to prepare article of the company from the beginning. They need to read and sign and we need to specify all the working fields and regulations and executive board of the company in the article of company. And also for future. Yes. And if they cannot be present, they must provide a fully power of attorney to someone trusted. But this uh, amount, uh, 25,000, if uh, there is more than uh, two co-founders, uh, this sum must be frozen uh, uh, for all these people or yes. each one people? No, for all of them. It's okay. the same. It's the capital of the company. It's depend on the person uh, in the company. Yes. Yeah. That it, it must, it's, the number is the same. They can uh, increase the number if they would like to make bigger capital for the company. And uh, what uh, the next step uh, after uh, this article and uh, name of the company? Mm -hmm. Once we obtain the permission for the name and we prepare the article, we got signatures from all the shareholders. Uh, we pro provide all the documents with the IDs and passports, yeah, and the, the address. ID. Address, com address uh, and criminal records mm -hmm. of theirs. We provide them all together to the governmental office and we wait for different ministries to approve. The establishment of the company is done. But then, uh, again, related with the working uh, focus area of the company, there are some other governmental offices they have to follow, like municipality. Mm -hmm. That's for sure municipality is a must. Um, also tax office, social security, and also uh, depending on the working field, they need to register themselves to the related union of the field. If it's like architectural company, they have to follow with the architectural union. Yeah. If it's a trade company, they need to register trade union. So the, 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 in this part, the Accountant consult consultancy is important. Is it true that you need at least two uh, people to open the company? Yes, at least two people must be in the company because one of them will be director and the other one will be the secretary of the company. That's the executive board. But it's not mandatory to have two. Um, I mean, you can have more than two. Mm -hmm. It's mandatory to have at least two. Uh, and these two people, they, it's not necessary uh, that they, they are going to be shareholders as well. So you can have director and secretary and shareholders. So director and secretary just uh, keep up with the execution of the company. Mm -hmm. And uh, is it obligatory to employ a local uh People. Yeah, depending on the capacity of the company, there is a obligation to hire Cypriot people. All this process uh, to establish the company, how long it take? With the establishment, as we said from the beginning, it's like three weeks or one and a half month, depending on the workload. And also if we prepare everything on time with the investors. After that, this uh, registration to the related governmental offices, it takes approximately one month to two months. So in total, let's say three months, everything is ready. Three months. That's in three months. But for employing people under the name of the company, the company must exist uh, at least six months. So yeah, another the, the, three months. Let's is, be fair, well, half a yeah, year. Half, half year is... Uh, completely to run business and mm -hmm. hire people. But before the six months, the company is established and it can start up with the uh, uh, activities. And uh, the most important question, uh, how much it costs? Yeah. And uh, this uh, 25,000, it's frozen and uh, for how long and uh, after when you can use it? Yeah. 
This 25,000 euros is the minimum capital of the company and it must be frozen up to uh, until companies establish. So if it's one month, it's, it's, it's going to be there in one month. The 10 percentage of the capital, if foreigner investor is going to be director, this is permanent. It has to be blocked in the bank account and there must be documentation from tax office that it is blocked. Rather than this, there is no any uh, blocked money. So if the director is Turkish Cypriot, then there is no permanent frozen money. And how long, how, how much it costs yes. uh, in total, uh, it's not really easy question to answer because it depends on the type of the company and the capital of the company. Some companies are very easy to establish and uh, easy to run, but some companies takes longer because of the working fields they want to add it to the articles of the company so maybe we can say that it can start from three thousand pounds like expenses and everything with all expenses yeah with from. expenses it, it can be three thousand pounds but it can go up to no limitation so if mm -hmm. someone tells you that you are going to invest huge amount and many fields of activity and they're asking for 10, 20, I cannot comment before I go into details. Yeah, this is situation. Yeah, but uh, at least what we can say, it's not that hard to have limited company in Cyprus and all the uh, extra working field and the capacity of the work changes all the expenses. And after established company, it's running, uh, which Taxes uh, you have to pay, for yeah. example, VAT or something else. Yes, there are taxes, of course, all, like all over the world, and we don't have much difference, actually. Um, the taxes based on the profit. So VAT is uh, applicable and social security taxes for employees and director and secretary. The profit taxes are 23.5 in total it, it's payable once in a year and depending on the again working field of the company there are some other taxes for example uh, general consuming products they, start, they can be zero or they can be up to ten mm -hmm. or luxury uh, consuming uh, materials like alcohol or tobacco it's 20 percentage service field is 16 percentage so it goes on like this it can be changeable for construction it's five percentage this is the tax that you the companies has to pay based on their profit and also social security is uh, for the employees it's 12 percentage and for employees it's eight percentage in total it's 20 percentage and this is for each month all the numbers they um, balance it with the income and outco outcome so it's not the certain numbers that i earn this much this is my profit and i'm going to pay this much they they um they evaluate your income and outcome and uh, after that what comes this out profit. yeah you have to pay taxes on based on these numbers and uh, are there preferential uh, uh, tax regimes so again as i said the the sectoral area of the company uh, gives us the taxation that we, ha we have to follow. So uh, it, if they are willing to do very low, uh, if very low taxation uh, applicable to the company, they need to follow, for example, the general consuming, like trading buy and sell these kind of things but it, it, it's changeable if they're willing to do construction or some other luxury services and uh, how it's beneficial compared to european taxation um, this is not the professions of mine but uh, because of i'm uh, working in this field many years i don't believe that we have too much difference uh, sometimes we have less taxation but sometimes we have more. For example, buying cars is more expensive because of the custom service fees compared to Europe. But for the general consuming, it maybe it's less. 
for the property maybe it's less than so it, it's comparable it's uh, negotiable I mean it's uh, how to say debatable mm -hmm. <laughs> it's uh, better always to consult uh, in uh, your case how it better which type yeah. of company definitely from the beginning they need to clear uh, their minds because uh, with the general question it's not that easy but if there are specifications in their minds uh, then it's much more easier for us to work with them as well we can consult them from the beginning and they will see what will happen each time next step uh, yeah. what it, what will be the next step Thank you. As I wrap this video, I want to say uh, that you provide us very important and helpful information. Uh, it will be a great help for people who want to establish their own company. And if you still have uh, your questions, uh, be free, ask, uh, contact us and uh, we will pleasure to answer you. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. much.